Buckle up, space enthusiasts. A mind-blowing revelation from China's lunar mission has scientists buzzing with questions. The China National Space Administration dropped a bombshell, claiming their rover uncovered an extraordinary find on the moon, a glowing, multicolored substance that defies explanation. But here's the thing we can't see it or touch it for ourselves. So, what's really going on on our celestial neighbor, and how many more secrets is the moon hiding from us? Get ready for some out-of-this-world history. On January 3, 2019, China's Chang-4 mission marked a major milestone by successfully landing on the moon's far side, an area never explored before. This incredible feat was years in the making, with scientists working tirelessly since the program's launch in 2004. The spacecraft touched down inside Von Karman Crater, a vast and mysterious region about the size of Rhode Island. And what's cool? The mission was named after China's moon goddess, Chang, while its trusty lunar rover, U-2 or Jade Rabbit, has been busy uncovering secrets on our moon. You won't believe this legendary discovery. Inspired by China's mythical moon goddess Chang, scientists on the Chang-4 mission were on a quest for immortality knowledge when they stumbled upon something truly extraordinary. After weeks of exploring, team members noticed an unusual crater in images from their rover's main camera, and what they found inside was like nothing seen before. It had a strange, gel-like substance that caught everyone's attention. The discovery sparked excitement as the team prepared U2 to hibernate during the moon's two-week night, but this incredible find is only just beginning to rewrite the book on our lunar neighbor. The mystery deepens. The initial glimpse of this extraordinary crater had everyone talking, from conspiracy theorists spinning tales about lunar missions being driven by a quest for immortality, to scientists eager to unravel its secrets. Although the first images were low-res and color filters added to the enigma, researchers remained determined to uncover the truth. As the sun continued to shift in the sky, changing the lighting, it was time for U2 to take another look, this time with a command to check out that strikingly colored substance up close. Getting up close was no easy feat, this crater was a tough one to reach, and we all held our breaths as U2 carefully navigated its rugged terrain. But finally, after several attempts, the rover got a clear shot at that intriguing substance. Equipped with the powerful VNIS spectrometer, it analyzed the material by detecting the light reflected or scattered off of it, piecing together its composition bit by bit. The suspense was killing us all. Would U2's findings be enough to satisfy our curiosity? Meanwhile, back on Earth, NASA's Daniel Moriarty stepped in with a game-changing move. By tweaking brightness, contrast, and other image settings, he created multiple enhanced versions of the photos, giving everyone a fresh glimpse into this extraterrestrial enigma. Now, let's dive into what Daniel Moriarty had to say about this high-stakes analysis. While his image enhancement techniques were pure genius, he was also quick to point out that there are some limitations to working with compressed images. We're just scratching the surface, and there's still so much more to uncover. According to Moriarty, one thing is clear the material is pretty dark and tough, with a smooth surface that catches the light beautifully when it hits. But here's the thing. He suspects that this substance might not be uniform throughout. In other words, it could have different parts that are chemically distinct from each other. And if his hunch is correct, then these fragments likely share a similar history to their surroundings. They've been shaped by the same cosmic forces over millions of years. The story just got even more fascinating. It seems that this mysterious substance didn't form gently. It was actually smashed and broken apart after being pounded by meteorite strikes on the lunar surface, just like everything around it. And now, researchers are leaning towards a super cool explanation. Could it be breccia? This rock is made up of fragments from other rocks and minerals, all stuck together in a melted, glass-like matrix that's a result of intense heat from those meteorite crashes. Doctor. Clive Neal from the University of Notre Dame de Lac has been digging into moon secrets for years, and he thinks this new image backs up his earlier theory. This material is pretty similar to a weird, shot glass-like rock sample that astronauts brought back during the Apollo 17 mission back in 1972. Can you believe it? When astronauts first visited the moon during those historic American missions, they were totally blown away by some crazy discoveries green and orange glass just chillin' on its surface. 
the Apollo 15 and 17 crews brought back samples of this out-of-this-world material to Earth. And let me tell you, it was a real game-changer. As Eugene Cernan and Harrison Schmidt explored near the Shorty Crater, Schmidt's eyes landed on something incredible orange soil. Little did he know, his buddy Cernan had a pretty funny thought at that moment. In his autobiography, Cernan revealed that he wondered if his colleague might be seeing things because of dehydration or fatigue. So, Cernan decides to check it out with Schmidt, and guess what? He sees it too. That orange soil is real. Back on Earth, scientists get their hands on those samples and are totally stoked to discover they're actually volcanic ash made up of teeny tiny beads of super strong glass. The Apollo 17 crew brought back six different kinds of this lunar volcanic glass, and one specific sample, number 70,019, is a cool mix of dark minerals embedded in sleek black glass. Scientists even think that this type of glass could have formed when meteorites blasted the moon's surface. Talk about an out-of-this-world impact. You might think these shiny, dark glass beads look like they're fluid, but trust us, they're not. They're actually tiny, super strong glass particles. And here's the cool part, these lunar glass beads are way more common than you'd expect, covering about 20% of the moon's surface. In fact, scientists believe that China's rover might have discovered some on the moon's far side too. But even with all this new info, the astronomical community is still super stoked to uncover more mysteries hidden in plain sight on the dark side of our lunar neighbor. Who knows what other surprises await us? Get ready for some serious mind-blowing space news. In April 2019, a team of international astrophysicists made an out-of-this-world discovery they found a messy V mystery mass hiding beneath the far side of the moon. This enormous pile of metal is five times heavier than Hawaii's biggest island. That's huge. It's situated about 180 miles from the moon's south pole, near the Aiken Basin, its largest crater. Scientists are totally stumped, and their theories are getting wilder by the minute. Two possible explanations have emerged we'll dive into those next. Now let's get to the two jaw-dropping theories behind this moon mystery. Theory number one, imagine the moon in its fiery youth, with oceans of magma covering its surface. As it cooled down, dense oxides might have formed an underground structure. That's what scientists think could be hiding beneath our lunar companion. But here's where things get really cool. The second theory suggests the moon mystery mass is actually remnants of a massive celestial body that crashed into the moon yoons ago. If this ancient space rock was huge enough, it could have blasted a crater and separated the moon's layers. But wait, the young moon's surface wasn't stable yet. This idea seriously gets planetary scientist Brandon Johnson excited. Tune in next for more on these mind-blowing theories. The remnants of the metal core crashing into the moon. It's a bet worth making. But let's not stop there, because this moon enigma only gets more intriguing. Did you know the far side of our lunar buddy is covered in a super thick crust? No seas or oceans, unlike what we see on its visible half. This major asymmetry between the two sides, differences in mass, appearance and structure, still has scientists scratching their heads to this day. Here's what scientists think could have caused those mind-blowing anomalies on the far side of the moon a massive collision that shook things up in the very beginning of its life. But, just like any good theory, it needs proof, and we're still waiting for the verdict. Fast forward to today, after a 40-year space break, humans have returned to the moon's surface with China making history as the third nation to leave their mark on lunar soil. Will this new mission help unravel the secrets of our enigmatic dark side moon? Only time as and some seriously cool data will tell. Let's dive into the discussion. What do Wow you think could be behind those mysterious anomalies on the moon's hidden side? Share your theories in the comments below. Don't forget, if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button for a constant feed of